thank you very much for making time to come here uh, to this center. And in a way, this actually can be regarded as your nerve center of what is actually going on in what we are trying to do to fight this war against COVID-19. So we are very pleased that you could come here to see for yourselves, and also, of course, not just to see for yourselves. We are also free to instruct us what more can we do with this capacity that you saw here so that we are able to work effectively to actually deal with uh, and defeat COVID-19. So, President, I'm not going to waste time. I'm not the one who is speaking. I'm handing over to you just to be able to address us in the nation briefly. Thanks, Mohamed. Thank you, Dr. Nzimande and uh, ministers and uh, deputy ministers who are here. It's an absolute joy to have spent the past few minutes here at the CSIR, which is the home of our brain power from a science and technology point of view. And I'm delighted to have come here because this is where a platform of enabling the nation to deal with uh, COVID-19 in a technological and a scientific way. I've been hugely impressed to see how we are able, through the facility that we have here, to look at the entire country and see how we can get data and information about the incidence of infection of the coronavirus throughout the country, but more importantly, how we are able, using science and technology, to drill it down to almost provincial, district, municipality, ward level, and street level to know as they track the people who are infected to be able to know where the higher and the more vulnerable areas in our country are going to be. But I was also hugely impressed to know that through one of our partners, through Vodacom, who are going to distribute to our health workers lots of telephones, mobile phones, that are going to have the apps. And here is the CEO of uh, Vodacom uh, coming to demonstrate and give us the phone that is now going to be used by our health workers throughout the country. 20,000 of them will have this phone with an app that will be able us to get the data right to this center here at the CSIR in real time. As they input the data, as they screen our people, get all the information, it appears immediately here, and then through this they'll be able to direct people for testing to hospital and places like that. So we are immensely grateful that we do have partners who are coming forward to assist us in this fight against uh, coronavirus. And I'd like to thank Mr. Shamil, the CEO of uh, Vodacom, for lending a hand and giving support to the nation through the distribution of this uh, 20,000 phones. We said we would be uh, engaging 10,000 uh, health workers. Now he is saying we should increase it to 20,000. And that's precisely what we are now going to do. Thank you very much for your support and assistance. Thank you very much for the phones as well. Maybe you want to say a few words. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, when we got the call, um, the coronavirus, uh, as you know, is, uh, had devastating uh, impacts all over the world. So when we got the government, the call for government to step up and to help, that's exactly what we've done. And, uh, 
the phones is just one way in terms of which we're trying to, to assist government with, with this big, uh, with, with this big uh, issue that we're faced with. Uh, so the 20,000 phones will come with uh, minutes, 500 minutes and 5 gigs of data uh, that we will also provide to, to health workers uh, to be able to get the information back after the scanning on, on, in real time. Uh, so this is just one of the efforts we're also trying to help uh, government in supporting with uh, big data analytics um, on the one side um, and uh, Mr. President also on the Barucom eSchool platform which is available in all 11 official languages all the syllabuses from grade R to grade 12 is, is there it's all completely free um, and, and has uh, also videos and tests and, and so on that's, uh, uh, that's available as well the uh, a virtual doctor platform that we launched last week in partnership with Discovery, where um, we'll hopefully also take pressure off the health system, where there's a, a simple scanning uh, through USSD and the app, and then also where you can access a virtual doctor if you've seen as high risk. Uh, uh, Vodacom and, and, and Discovery has put a fund of 20 million to basically sponsor the, uh, the consults. Uh, so that at least that can also take some uh, some some pressure pressure off, and I think, uh, Mr. President, we have to to assist in any way we can. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, this is the assistance that we are appreciative of, and I also would like to thank the leadership of this institution, the CSIR, from the minister, deputy minister, as well as the chair of the CSIR Professor Majosi and the CEO, and all the people who work here. They are stepping up in our effort to fight against coronavirus, and they are doing it in the most scientific way. And I think as a nation, we should be proud that we have an institution like the CSIR which is always trying to be ahead of the curve in terms of bringing solutions for the nation to utilize. I'm particularly proud of the fact that at this most testing time for our nation, the CSIR has stepped up to the plate and they have information through the health department, of course, of, of 45 million South Africans through the NHI that we are trying to build. And already there is a platform and a base of information. And as we are now managing uh, coronavirus through technology and science, we already have a very good platform and a base. And now they are linking up to all the provinces, all the districts in our country, all the hospitals. I was particularly pleased to see that they've already tracked all the hospitals, all the beds that are available, and all the bed and breakfast that are available, the hotels that can be utilized either for isolation centers, quarantine centers, and all that is now available here for enabling us to fight this uh, COVID-19. So I'd like to thank the leadership of this center and say, Please get on, uh, continue with the work. I hear that they've been working 16 to 18 hours a day, just collecting uh, all the data. And we'd like to thank them. They are the unsung heroes of our fight against coronavirus. And thank you very much. And we're grateful to Vodacom for all the work that uh, they are doing as well. Thank you so much. Thanks. I'd like to invite the Deputy Minister of Health. Uh, everyone has been thanked, but there might be a couple of other people that have not been thanked. <laughs> no, thanks, 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 DG. Uh, thanks for this opportunity. I think it's uh, proper and fitting that uh, as the ministry and department, which is at the end the beneficiary of all that is being talked about here, because we are the department which is in the cold face which must indeed you know, lead the country in terms of on the field. And, and we are indeed very grateful for, for everything which has been said. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President, for having 
uh, grace this occasion. Thanks to Minister Nzimande for his uh, persuasion, but I know that uh, because, as you said, you're very keen on technology. Uh, you didn't really need a lot of persuasion uh, to, to come here today. But we also overall thank you for, for your leadership in this fight, as uh, already acknowledged by the WHO, acknowledged by other uh, leaders of you know, various institutions in the world, uh, that indeed we're very pleased to be benefiting from your foresight uh, in this fight against this uh, invisible, a very, very uh, dreadful enemy. Um, I mean, every time, you know, these days, whether you open CNN, whether you open Sky News, you know, everything is just COVID-19 and very depressing. I mean, when you get, you know, the figures about what's happening in the UK last night, they were talking about over 950 uh, deaths in the UK alone, uh, with over 750 in England alone. And uh, you look at the USA, already passed uh, 1,000 per, per 24 hour, uh, approaching 2,000. So it's a real a serious uh, enemy which we have to confront. And we in this country are very fortunate to, to have you as our leader in this regard, uh, in, in this very you know, difficult fight. And I believe that um, your visit here uh, has been a very good, you know, huge motivation uh, to, to the team, the team from uh, CSIR and also from Health, from Science and Innovation. Uh, I'm sure if they were working 16 hours a day, I think when you leave here, they will be approaching 20 hours. <laughs> <laughs> because now they really are, are feeling, you know, the adrenaline, adrenaline is, is very high. And we thank also our partners uh, from uh, uh, Vodacom, uh, this is indeed a, a very handy contribution uh, because now as we're rolling out our field workers, I'm sure all of you have seen that province after province have been uh, rolling out these uh, field workers, going out there doing the screening and making sure that we can receive data uh, real time, uh, which, will, which indeed is going to be very critical as we ourselves need to uh, up our planning because you know there is nobody, unfortunately, in the world who can claim to have experience. Uh, we all learning on, on our feet. Uh, so uh, projections, modeling, real data coming day by day. We don't know. I mean, uh, yesterday we had what 95, 96 new cases. If you ask me, the figure for this evening, I have no idea. Uh, it can be lower. It can be double. Uh, we have to depend on models, but at the end, but all this at the end of the day is going to help us to, to really plan and help uh, uh, Mr. President in terms of you being able to, to lead the command uh, center and also the entire nation in terms of how we proceed forward. We're also thankful to other partners in terms of the NICD, which is very key, National Health Laboratory Service, our uh, private labs, um, and you know all those uh, for, for their cooperation because without that cooperation uh, this will not be uh, effective. We, we, we depend on, on their input into, into the system. So in, uh, uh, in conclusion I just want to, to assure you Mr. President that indeed uh, working together with the science and technology uh, we will do everything possible to support this team to make sure that their work indeed becomes very effective and uh, every day that there's improvement so that it can really help us to put the, the country in a better space in terms of planning, in terms of implementation. Uh, again, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President, for your leadership and your visit here. And uh, I'm sure the photos which have been taken just at the end of the visit there uh, each one of the team members will hang in the front, uh, or the front entrance uh, of their homes so that uh, everybody can see that the president appreciates uh, the work which they are doing. Thank you very much. So we've come to the end of this session. I'm uh, told uh, by the office of the president that they would like to ask that we release the president at this point because he's got another engagement. So may we please then stand and allow the President and the Ministers to move.